Hi, this is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Welcome to the lesson. We're going to be looking at conquering the fretboard. I know that's a bit of a full on title, but really we all want to know our way around the fretboard, what all the notes are. So I'm going to show you that in this lesson. So I've devised four exercises to help you with this aim. Now I've used variations of these exercises throughout my playing career. Um, sometimes I use them just to refresh the notes again. You can download the whole PDF of this lesson. Um, I'll have the exercises in there and the fret diagrams, which I'm going to show you in this video. Um, so click the link in the description, download the PDF and you can use it to take away to practice. Also, you can check out my website, gregspaceshed.com, uh, or look at Greg Space Shed on Instagram. I've got some more videos on there. I do a bass in 60 second series um, of little tips and exercises that aren't on YouTube. So make sure you watch the whole video because I'll be looking at all these four exercises throughout the lesson. So I'm going to demonstrate these exercises on a four string on my telly bass, um, but you can do it on a four, a five, a six, a seven, whatever you've got. Um, if you've got a five string then just start the exercises on the B string um, and then carry on on the A upwards like these exercises. So first of all, exercise one, we can look at one note in all the positions on the bass. So if we pick an E, so the first E we've got on the four string is the open E. And then we find the next E up, which is the E on the octave, so an octave is eight notes higher. And then on a 20 fret bass, like this one, uh, we're going to run out of basses, no more E's there. Um, basses come from 20 to 24 um, fret positions on average, so um, you're, if you've got 24, then you will find the second octave, the E, up there. But for us, we're going to find the next one on the A string, so 7th fret, that's an E there, and then up there. And then the next E is the second fret of the D string and then we can find it up here, 14. And then the next E is fret number nine on the G string and no, run out of frets. So that's it for the E's on the on the um, on a four string. Um, so when you practice this, just say the notes out loud. So E, E, E. E. It just helps you to memorise them more. So once you've done that on E, you can obviously try it on any note. So we could try it on G. Or you can do it on B flat. And it will take you a while to get this, first of all. Make sure you're saying the notes out when you play them. Um, just try it really slowly. Just try a few different notes. Um, it's really going to help you get around the instrument. Um, also, it will help your reading as well. Um, some, some you don't read. If you don't read uh, and you'd like to, then I've got a lesson. Um, there should be, up here now, should be a, um, a link to that. Um, that's starting to read music. So I'd recommend that anyone uh, reads music. It's only going to help you out. Um, so yeah, have a look at that lesson. Right, onto exercise two. Now this is the root fifth exercise. So we're going to do this in G. So if we play G, that's the root note, and the fifth note is a D. So root fifth. But this way we're going to go along the bass. So we're going to look, so a G there, and then we're going to look for the fifth, which is D, and it's there. And then we're going to go for G, and then we have run out of frets, so the next D is there. And then G, G, D, G, D, G. And in D we can do the open string on the G string. So G, and then D, G, D. Okay, so that's root and fifth. So we're playing all the G's and all the D's. And again, we just start this on any note. So we could do, uh, say, on an F. So F, that's the root, and the fifth is a C. So we go F, C, F, C, etc., etc. Now it might take you a while to find notes again. So if you just play the root and the fifth like this, and you can hear that note C, and you'll just find it. If you if you play the F, and then if you don't know, 
that it's on the um, eighth fret, then just just try and find it, and that will help you. That process of finding finding a note will help you to um, know where the notes are on the fretboard. So again, try this exercise. Say the notes as you play them, and try and all start in all different notes, any different note. Okay, if we move on to exercise three, and remember, you can get the PDF of all these exercises um, by downloading it in the description box. Click the link there. So exercise three, we're going to do a major scale but long ways across the instrument. So if we say pick C major, and again if you don't know C major scale, if you want some help with your scales, I've got a video five essential scales. Uh, again, the link should be up there. Have a look at that for your major scale if you really don't know uh, how the major scale is constructed. But what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start on the C, on the 8th fret of the E string. So normally we'd play the major scale there, but we're going to play it to try and use all these notes across the whole bass. So we're going to start with C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C. Okay, and again, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And you'd never really use these these notes here, but this is just an exercise to help you to work out where all the notes are. Um, and then we move on to the A string, and again, C's there. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. D, E, F. Okay, so and then we'll find the F to carry on, which is there. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And then let's find the A there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Okay, so we can just go up to the D. So that's a major scale. So a major scale long ways. Um, again, start that on any note, um, a G. Also remember to say the notes out loud, again, as you're playing them. Try this slowly and it's guaranteed it will frustrate you. You know, I remember doing this exercise, it took me ages to get this one down. Um, but there's um, particular patterns that can help you. So if you're gonna play it a normal way, you've got this pattern here. So if we play the first two notes and then that pattern, same pattern there. So that's on a, a, an E, F, G, E, F, G. Okay, so you can work out different patterns, but actually it's better just to actually physically try and find the notes. And it might help to know the intervals of a major scale, which are root, whole note, whole note, half note, whole note, whole note, whole note, half note. So that's the gap in between. So root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So there's a formula obviously for major scales so that can help you as well. Right, onto the last exercise, exercise four, and we're gonna look at a minor arpeggio. And again, we're gonna do that long ways across the bass. So if we look at G minor arpeggio, we've got that here. Again, I've got, there's a video on arpeggios, a link there if you need it, um, but I'll show you the arpeggio shape here for G minor. So you've got G, B flat, D, G. So we're gonna find it long way, so G, B flat, D, 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 G, B flat, D. Okay, so again, that will take you a while to figure out where all these notes are. Say the notes out loud as you're saying them, like all the other exercises. Try that on any different note. Um, also, it's handy to know that the minor arpeggio is made up of the root, the minor third, the fifth, and the octave. So that's all the four exercises that are guaranteed to help you find your way around the fretboard. Um, I suggest that you pick one exercise a day. So say practice them over the week, practice all four exercises. Um, just pick, do one and one day, then the next, then the next, and the next. 
and um, try them starting on different notes. And you'll t you know you could just use this and um, incorporate this into your practice uh, routine, your weekly practice routine. Now I found these exercises really difficult when I first started them. So if you're getting frustrated, just remember just tr take them slowly. Um, start with the, just the one note. Um, across the or across the instrument and then build up to the other exercises and with time and practice they definitely will come and, and you'll notice big improvements uh, for finding out where all the notes are. So download this PDF, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please like, share or comment on the videos uh, and that makes me really happy. Uh, I'll get some feedback and it helps to spread the word about Greg Space Shed. Also like I said you can check out the website, I've got loads more information on there. Um, I've got information about my Bass Beginner ebook, which is nearly done now so you can express an interest in that. Um, and also you can look at Greg Space Shed on Instagram and Facebook and I've got all the links down in the description below. Um, so this is Greg from Greg Space Shed, I hope you liked the lesson and I'll see you next Friday.